All right, 60 Halloween niche ideas for you. This is going to help you make your first sales in a print-on-demand niche or just give you more inspiration to grow out your print-on-demand niche that you're having a lot of success with for Halloween. And uh, down below in the description, I am going to have a spreadsheet for you with all the ideas and Amazon Merch On Demand course down below too as well. So if you guys wanna check that out, check that out. And I do have a private mastermind group. If you want to see me go live two times a month, and have a private group where you can ask your questions in. And with that being said, all I ask is for you to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Let's get into the content. This is gonna be walrus. Pretend I'm a walrus. Happy Halloween. As we go down right there, it's not that demand for a niche. There's really not that many walrus designs. So what does that mean? That means I feel like it's underserved. If you can create an awesome design in this niche, you can be the top selling design in here. We just look at something like this, just with the face on it. Really not too much of a Halloween theme, but they're using the keyword Halloween. It's a consistent selling design. You can probably make some really good sales in here. Just a walrus face on a shirt, but it's crushing, making sales. This is my human passion. I'm really a walrus. So let's look at all time consistent selling shirt. That's what we look for, right? It has a consistent seller. I'm not sure what happened right here. All time being up on Amazon is, is making sales pretty much every single month. It seems like happy Halloween. You got a walrus on the broomstick acting like a witch, right? They scaled this out too. You can see. Boom, 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 boom. You can see that certain designs are doing better. I would test it though. Um, you won't know until you test this. This is something right here. Like, oh yeah, there's no demand, but you obviously by looking like at a shirt like this. Well, I talked about this niche already, the dinosaurs, but just the T-Rex in general, that is a whole different niche on its own. I want you to understand that because this like one niche right here can generate you $5,000 a month if it's done correctly. This is a big niche right here. Just the T-Rex niche in general, there is a ton that can be done here. If we look at a few of these designs, and we're going to see exactly what's going on. Let's check out like this one. Happy Hallorar. <laughs> It was uploaded July 6, 2022. And it's for some reason, there's some of these designs that I've seen previously that are not popping up. If I click on one of these or these ones right here, you can see that these ones are doing really good. This one has 726 reviews and it's crushing it and it's making sales. This one has 228 reviews and it's making sales. And I think it's because I have that little dash right there. That's what's causing that. You can see I just took out the little dash and we got a different result now. This is what I'm talking about. Skeleton riding a mummy, mummy dinosaur. This is a simple one, right? Real nice. Um, good detail pirate right a dinosaur dressed up like a pirate but it's doing pretty good all right next is going to be exolotl a really cool little creature right starting to trend right now that's an idea so when you see stuff like that you want to think about it like okay what can i use this for people are buying it on shirts what what can i do what can i do to get ahead of my competition get it in certain holidays you can see that that's the idea when you see that and there's a demand for it how can you make some money from it Right? And you can see these BSRs are doing pretty good. Don't get confused too. You're seeing this right here when we type in like, you know, the average BSR. There's not enough designs and on the front page for this saying right here, it's gonna grab just random, you know, different designs from different niches that are doing good with uh, Merchant Informer because it's an underserved niche, basically. We're getting down here, we had 488K, 530K, 817K, 971K. You had a skeleton Halloween Exolato. And you can see like, you know, we're looking at all this stuff already and we're talking about it. You get inspired by other niches and you're like, okay, cool. Like an, I know that an Exolato with a skeleton, like skeleton idea will do really well because it's doing pretty good in every other niche, right? And that's one way to do it. A12 started making sales there, but it's now it's continuously making sales as you can see. This was uploaded last year, right? But now it's just cranking, it's making them sales. That's what we look for, right? It's consistently making sales pretty much like every other day, it seems like. The next niche is going to be birthday. Think of someone's birthday on Halloween. We're gonna have a few ideas that are right below. It's my party, you're seeing with the skeleton again. Happy Halloween and yes, it's my 50th birthday. So this is crushing it right now first and foremost we went down quite a ways already and it's still at 500k bsr if we go down and we're going down still and it's still under a million bsr that means that whole front page is making is making sales and that's a really good sign so but think of other holidays thanksgiving christmas easter so on and so forth it's my boo day so i'm assuming that you're targeting a girl or a woman with this design look at that it was uploaded on august 16 2021 and you can see it started to make sales now happy halloween yes it's my birthday and it's it's a consistent seller. Real simple design, nothing too crazy. So when you're creating a design and you're looking at the type of stuff, make sure that you can read by looking at the thumb thumbnail without zooming in. Next niche is gonna be like blood. This is obviously gonna be doing pretty good for Halloween. And we're, as we're going down, you can see that BSRs are pretty good. I'm fine. Okay, you got a knife stabbed and it has like a blood dripping out. It started making sales. Uploaded July. And now if we come over here and you gotta, you get the idea, right? What, what, what they're doing with
with this, but look at the BSR starting to rank and crank in and, and make sales. Think of different ideas that you can do with this right here. Okay, there's a lot that can be done here. I'm fine. You know, other things that can be done here. Blood splat. You can see it does pretty good this year. It started making sales like at the end of April. Repeat this throughout this video. But you see some of these niches, they're not like crushing it, but everything adds up because then you have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten designs doing that. It all adds up and it turns into 40, 50 sales a day. Everything that I'm showing you, it all adds up in here. You just got to think outside the box and come up with different ideas. And you can see by adding it to other products, it appears on the listing. Really, really cool. The next niche is going to be border collie. You're going to see some of these BSRs are doing pretty good right now. I'm seeing like this is going to be like an underserved niche. You're seeing a lot of the stuff that we went through already, but there's some cool ideas that can be done in here okay. within the next few years. This getting more and more popular by looking at the keywords too. think about what different ideas you can come up with and just looking at the niche and, and researching it. So you can create a top selling design. You got the border collie dressed up as a witch. And I think this can be done a better than what this is right here. This is a pretty cool one. Happy how Halloween, which is really cool. Uploaded about two years ago, but I can see these dogs are getting more and more popular. This is really cool. That's why I wanted to open it up. It's a really high BSR. The border collies can be invincible sized a little bit more where they can be, you know, standing out in the design, actual design. Just think of different things that can be done in here. Maybe pumpkin in their mouth or something like that, holding a pumpkin, something cool like that. Similar to something like this would be really good. I, I can see this, why, why this one's doing good. It's going to get more sales going in, getting closer to Halloween. So, which is really cool. Next niche is going to be cow. You're seeing what they're doing here with the ghosts and the cow moo, right? There's a demand for this niche. <laughs> see what they did here this is full of uh, this is a really awesome niche and, and there's a lot that can be done this a ghost right and they're dressed up as a cow theme really awesome design if we come down here and look at this bsr look at it. it's making sales consistent this is what we look for and look at it's training down it's been up for a few years that's a really freaking awesome design and the power of print on demand 2020 okay you can see when they first uploaded it was ranking and making sales every single year it's been consistently making sales and it's a really awesome design first sale you can see right here was june 29 2022 and then boom for sale then it starts to rank there's going to be a lot of competition for this. Look at this. It was uploaded 2020. This year, it's making the most sales ever. You got a ghost, the retro style. Let's check out all time BSR. First uploaded last month. It's starting to make consistent sales. Once it starts ranking like that, always it's going to be live on Amazon pretty much forever, but that's what we want. So once we see that first sale come in, we want to get it ranking and making more sales, which can be done. But this is crazy to see this because you're seeing it happen. Like a year from now, you come back to it. It's going to have consistent sales, right? And that's really cool because they're just mad for it. Next niche is going to be Dalmatian. They're kind of just turn it into like a costume right and that's been popular for like a few years so you got to think about how are you going to come into the actual niche and and do something trying to be different from everyone else it's very hard to compete with something that's already ranking i recommend you just try to create something that's just different i'm not seeing too many halloween themed designs for the dalmatian niche which is interesting because it can be something right there that's missing that you can create as you see this right here has a dog collar you can see that it this year is doing pretty good now um just a dalmatian face which is really cool i like what they did with the white shirt if you look at it it doesn't have like the outline of the body but it has the face with the eyes and, and it's starting to crank in and make sales you know like i said you don't see too many halloween themed dalmatian like you don't see the witch hat you don't see like the pumpkin effect you don't see like the dog hopping out of the pumpkin you're not seeing nothing like that i would think of something and figure out what you can create in here that people want and give it to them the next niche is going to be football football is like a big thing right now in the u.s so football and halloween i can see it doing really well i'm talking about america football not soccer you can see right here we have a bsr of 218 we've got a skeleton with that same uh background with the bats right the orange background and you got a skeleton trying to catch the ball and then we have the skeleton without that background again and you can see it's still making sales as a top seller in the niche football and fall y'all mixing football fall halloween they're using the keyword halloween in there and it's still making sales because it's the time of the year right football and fall yo so this was uploaded last year 2021 of august and you're gonna see that it's making sales okay it seems like a little bit late this year it seems like it's starting to make sales and starting to crank in even though it's talking about football and fall but like leveraging like halloween it seems like it's helping drive traffic a little bit to this listing and then football's happening and then of course fall halloween too it's all like in the mix right now and i can see it driving traffic to it maybe the saying there's a little bit of competition but it's starting to rank in and make sales the next niche is going to be guinea pig you got a guinea pig riding a broom with some halloween pumpkins jack-o-lanterns right there as you can see and then a trick or 
weak and you have a guinea pig coming out of a pumpkin you have guinea pig saying boo guinea pig coming out of the pumpkin we've seen a lot of this throughout this whole video this is like a, a thing um and it seems to be doing pretty well it's a decent seller trick or weak and i'm thinking that it's making the, the noise of a guinea pig right there's a demand for it and people are buying it and it's doing its best this year so it's been up for a while 2019 but it seems like in 2022 it's doing its best ever which is really cool because this is something that you know a lot of us like overlook like we get so caught up in creating designs and you know trying to get them up and stuff but you see like certain designs like this and then they're making consistent sales guinea pig riding a witch's broom it's acting like a witch with the witch hat um moon going over the moon right with the bats and the jack of Latins right here on the bottom we got a rip pretty sure this one's a good seller yep you can see uploaded uh 2021 and you can see that it started make it started to rank but then this year right it started making sales at the end of last month but now it's continuously making sales and it's ranking downwards which is really awesome next niche is going to be the lgbt and halloween you're seeing the keywords gay pride rainbow flag scary pumpkin you can see what they do with the rainbow effect on the pumpkin uh you have a skull but they're using the halloween keyword in there the sugar skull like the, the day of the dead and they're doing you know the rainbow effect in there too as well you got a pregnancy announcement uh lgbt you got a skeleton throwing up like the heart sign but pirate <laughs> this is my straight costume i'm actually gay so you look at this one right here right it's a pumpkin but they did like the rainbow effect on it right and you can see who they're targeting this one was let's see uploaded 2021 seems to barely started to make sales and it's doing pretty good right it's starting to rank in that's what we want as we see sales so you got trans lgbt see what they did right there with the and then look at all time you're gonna see that it's a consistent seller and people are buying the shirt. So there's a market for the shirt and people are buying. Ride with pride. Gay, lesbian, witch, Halloween, ride with pride. A cool design, right? And it's a consistent seller. So next thing she's going to be uh, math. As you can see right here, what they're doing is like, you know, a math problem, but a cool like Halloween theme, right? Which is really awesome all. And this is a really awesome idea because you can see the BSR and these are doing really well. And you can see who they're targeting. Math, Halloween, teacher, pumpkin. Very simple. You get the pumpkin go and candy corn with a math equation you can see that this shirt is doing really well and this year seems to be doing the best trick or cheerit we go down see the bsr is doing pretty good too this one seems to be it spikes next one same thing math equations in the back end a pumpkin with the pie sign so many different niches that you probably wouldn't even think about right and it'll probably be very hard to cover all of them but this is why i'm sharing this with you because it just it's amazing to see you know what can be done in every single niche and just look at the designs and come up with different ideas just cross nation holiday halloween the math niche and just you know he's figuring out who they're targeting as far as you know like math teachers funny sayings around math sayings pumpkin pie stuff like that the next niche is going to be music you got a music note but it's halloween theme which is really creative something like this is pretty easy and scalable to do to all like all different niches but obviously if you put a little bit of effort and creativity into it you can create something that's really cool like this come down a little bit and 766 csr where are the pricing i used to do this strategy a long time ago where i just take it to you know 307 and then as i start to rank in i will price it to the competition right and but there's a lot of moving and a lot of editing that you have to be doing with all this because if you do this with all your design yeah you're going to be going back and forth a lot so it's up to you if you want to do something like this but definitely you'll make more sales if you price the price lower look at this you got a skeleton playing the piano with the like the like orange background on the back the bats over there you can see which is really really cool very creative now you can do this with other instruments too we're gonna see one more design but you can do this with other instruments it doesn't have to be the piano it can be like a guitar it could be the drum set now look at this one you can see it's starting to get cells now we've got a skeleton uh rocking out right playing the, the guitar and you can see yep it's making some cells and like i said when we get next niche is going to be otter now we look at here you can see the bsrs as we go down they're doing okay i think this is just going to be an underserved niche too there's more that can be done inside of here let me come over here otter so like you got this otter in a pumpkin which is really cool very simple design but really awesome i can see what you know why this is doing good also don't forget too when you're looking at the product page there's a lot ton of ton more designs right here look at this one hippopotamus and this is a really good idea by looking at this too guys there's so many different ideas that you can come up with okay so don't forget about that usually when you see people running ads to products on the product page you're going to come up with different ideas this is going to help you come up with different niche ideas that you would never even think of right you got a wolf now this one right here is like the top selling design in the otter for otter halloween and if we come down you can see that it's a consistent seller
trailer you know obviously when it gets closer to halloween it starts to make more sales and this is more of like a holiday design right but the cool thing is like if you pay attention during the summertime that's when it starts to make sales and over here too as well you can see it's kind of a little bit a little bit of a late start it seems like august it started making sales in august that's two months worth of sales almost three if it starts like in july then it starts to crank in more and make more sales pickle ball this niche it's starting to pick up and i can see it and it's getting a little bit more traction it's still a newer niche i can see what they're doing here and something like this with the newer niche you want to get ahead of it and that's a good idea to start designing for this i'm starting to see it more on tv and people playing it more and more if you start to see more of a certain sport it's a good sign pickle boo it's made a sell made a sell and it's made another sell so it's starting to get the ranking in i know it has to be a newer design yes it is so it was uploaded about five days ago a hey, diving skeleton the, the paddle and the ball this was uploaded last year and it's starting to make sales and definitely this design is going to make more sales this year than last year that's for sure and that's what we want too as sellers the main focus to it just focus on one of the things i focus on personally is like evergreen niches so even during like the slow times still making money as you're growing your account and growing your business it doesn't hurt to go after trends it doesn't hurt to go after evergreen niches the goal is consistency here if you have a consistent seller that's selling every single year that's what we look for and then if you can have a consistent seller that it's selling every other day or every day like you know that's the goal too as well the next niche is going to be pumpkin patch big brother of the patch big sister of the patch dad of the patch mom of the patch grandma of the patch you see what they're going like that with the family matching and the cool thing about that is now they're not buying one design they're buying two three four five cutest pumpkin in the patch i feed the pumpkins in the patch you see what they did there which is really cool we talked about this like four years ago when i first started this and just listing low kind of getting that sales velocity going and then raise the price because you kind of like showing the algorithm that this product is has a demand and then as you raise the price really the customers i'm not going to tell you how to raise your prices me personally I go to 19.99 and it's it's nice to you know make that five dollar royalty especially if you're running ads and stuff like that you can see that it just this is just trending down and you're looking at the bsr which is really really awesome to have as a print on demand seller and if this is your design freaking awesome job our right, next niche is going to be a uh, skeleton dog you may have seen me talk about this in the these videos you know this dancing skeleton dog we got the wiener dog skeleton with a dog and it seems to be doing pretty good with that bsr and then we got a corgi skeleton and then we got a skeleton with like it seems like different dogs right bulldog says boxer you see the idea right here and i think this is probably like an underserved niche and i feel like you can do a lot more a lot more that can be done inside of here okay check out the bsr so yeah, this one was better no uploaded on the 20 2019 but for some reason it's not showing the data all the way back okay but it's starting to make sales and crank in you see what they're doing with the orange themed shirt too something to think about when closer to halloween like and even any other holiday just think about different color shirts with designs that look really good on them especially this one right here it stands out a lot now this one right here um he's got a dog just doing dancing right dancing different ways and let's look at the all-time sales what was this one uploaded 2021 and look at it it's making consistent sales right now even though it's like you know it doesn't make sales here but then it starts to make sales as it starts to make sales it starts to rank for other long tail keyword and then once that happens boom boom that's what we look for all right next niche is going to be a uh, vampire one thing to pay attention to if you're looking at these big brands like mickey mouse and vampire you see how they're doing stuff they're catching on a lot to different ideas that we're doing as far as like you know t-shirt designers you can get inspiration for from like them and what niches are doing good and i'm not talking about mickey mouse but just vampire in general right mixing uh the black cat or cat with this niche right here next thing you know you have a top selling design all nurses love veins you can see what they're doing here mixing vampires and nurses this is really awesome i like what they did right here you can see this being a top seller right every single year going into halloween i uploaded last year and making consistent sales that's what we want dude that's what we want this is dope freaking awesome and see something like this just crushing it every single year and this is something that was newly uploaded this year you can see that it's starting to crank in and make sales i can see this being a top seller next one is so the cat and the vampire niche mixed together got some little fangs too and let's check it out uploaded this year right look at it it's just cranking making sales really awesome really awesome design it's going to be I, I believe this is going to be a top seller for halloween by looking at it and it's trending downwards all right next niche is going to be uh volleyball look, look at this volleyball uh pumpkin that's a pretty cool one very creative i like what they did right there skeletons playing volleyball right the volleyball is a pumpkin you can see that it's starting to crank and make some sales it was uploaded in 2021 600 kbsr but it's making consistent sales this year once you start to get the sale right and the sale might be a little bit late but you have a whole look at in the summertime you're starting starting to make sales just think about that right there because one year you may get like one or two sales with the design that's the goal right because then you start to rank and then next year comes around you know and that's a cool thing about 
about print on demand sales you really start to rank and get ranked closer to the front page and then as you start to get more and more sales one or two years three years out then it'll start to get even more and more sales i have a few designs personally where they're consistent sellers and they sell one like once a week but then like certain things happen in the world and then i'm making three four five six seven eight nine ten sales a day um i like what they did here with the volleyball and the witch hat and it's doing pretty good you can see so the next niche is going to be a uh, halloween uh, zombies if we come down right here chilling with my zombies chilling with my zombies attack of the vegan zombies if you check out these bsrs though they're starting to crank in as we get closer and closer to halloween four zombies with their arms around each other one's missing a leg if you look at the all-time bsr it, this is this is what we want right this is what we look for this is very similar you know you got to think about like how are you going to stand out from everyone else if there's a thousand people doing the same exact you know version of this or even this may be even the same person's uh design right and the only thing they did was create different looking zombies boom they have another design the price point 13.99 so i'm pretty sure what they're doing is so you can see that they're ranking <clears throat> they're ranking in the sales and then as soon as it gets closer to halloween they'll push it up a little bit but yeah this is a consistent seller top seller in the niche too as well so the next niche is going to be halloween and tarantula at one point just an evergreen niche right it's going to make sales throughout the whole year just a, a white design all white yeah you can see they're just making sales throughout the whole year closer to halloween it starts to trend down but even throughout the whole year you can see just making sales even if you have a design Design like this and that's making a few sales you want to think about like okay how else can you use this illustration to create different designs inside of the niche you have one design but it's not making that many sales so what else can i do in the niche to create a top sale and different types of spiders on the shirt but this can apply to any every single niche like if there's certain there's different types of tarantulas or different types of spiders you can create like a design like this and you're seeing it done with like halloween theme too as well and you can see how they have a keyword inside of there and it's probably getting more traction and more sales to the shirt and this all this is an evergreen design and it's making sales and this is really cool to even just think about this what else can you do inside here the next one is going to be uh bones you no know, i'm seeing skeleton bones think about just like different hand gestures think of just like bones in general funny sayings about bones like, my bones are getting old my bones are sore and we're starting making sales this year uploaded in july 6 2022 this one is just a consistent seller all right and probably one of the first people to think about this and this is why it's crushing and making a lot of sales uh, you got a skeleton drinking uh out of a mug and it looks like it's going into another mug skeleton drinking lazy halloween pool skull bone so this one just barely made a sale so I'm, I'm assuming someone to purchase that one let's go i got your back this one has been around like this saying right here i've seen it on a few like on etsy at redbubble all over every other print on demand site it's a consistent seller as you can see and it'll make us it'll make sales just throughout the throughout the whole year what are you saying it's basically if you look at it it's um a skeleton pulling out the spine of another skeleton and it's saying i got your back so the next niche is going to be evil clowns and also to just keep in mind remember the goal is to like when you're watching this to so understand okay what can be done here because it looks like there's some there's some heavy like some really good designs in here that are doing pretty good and then there's some designs that are just like they just fell off for some reason and i'm not sure one and this is one of them too those two free hugs you got a clown laughing you can see exactly what they're doing right there and this one is crushing well, obviously there is a demand for this remember too it's this trademark check tool i was gonna say that's gonna be probably live so this is a registered trademark if you click on it so you want to be careful with that but what else can you do it doesn't have to be free hugs there's other things that can be done with inside here but this bsr is crushing it's like making sales pretty much every day i have candy pretty it's making sales and then as we get closer to halloween it's making more sales but obviously i think within the next few years or as it starts to rank more and more i think that the algorithm will catch on to this type of design and share it more within this niche all right next niche is going to be a cockatiel so if we look at this right here um let's open up a few of these beep, 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 beep. right let those load um you're seeing this image right here scaled out it's scaled out pretty much with every single niche one thing that i recommend if you have a top selling design right and you know it's working really well but one of the best ways to do it is just scale it out into every single niche right and see if it makes sales if it's working in one niche most likely it's going to work that same and you see it on all t-shirt layouts right a, a cockatiel on a broomstick which is really cool it's, and you know it's a consistent seller for every every single halloween right and then also to keep in mind as it makes sales every single year the, the ratings are going to go up right there's going to be you know, from this year probably to next year it's probably going to be five ratings and then you know also on and so forth over, over the years of, of it being live on amazon over to the next one there's that silhouette theme that we just talked about right now but let's see all-time sales 
that's money right there dude and we may have seen it over and over it doesn't take it away from the fact that it's a cool design and you as you can see by looking at the sales chart this is a, a top seller for halloween every single year and then implementing that to any other niche any other holiday christmas easter so on and so forth there's a lot that can be done right here this is going to be doberman so you got a doberman with a witch hat and the background is uh, the moon you know you got the haunted houses with the pumpkins with the funny faces one with the mangry face and this happy face doing some numbers over here right you can see let's see when it was uploaded the 20 21 and now it's cranking some numbers doing some sales as you can see now if you come over here another doberman with the moon in the back trees and the bats right really awesome cool design uh, so huh, it must have barely made a sell i'm assuming where the bsr is not showing up upload it 2020 you got that skull image again with a dog in there where it looks like there's different faces happy tongue out angry face just like what's up face or there's a few different angles in here which is really cool you can see that's the detail work and the little details like that will stand out and it's making sense. I think it's doing the best it's ever done this year. Our next niche is going to be uh, Halloween on eyeballs. Halloween eyeballs, like scary looking eyeballs. Eyeballs in general showing like the little rain, the uh, little veins in the eye. And this may be just a niche that sh there's not a lot of demand for it, but it's part of Halloween. It's an okay niche, but you can I see you. You can see what they did. You can see you. I can see you with the you know with have the spaghetti eyeballs. And if you see this, okay, just it barely made a sell, but you can see the idea of what they did here. Now it's not like you may be a little crazy because it's, it looks like it's underserved there may be a little bit of demand for it but by looking at the design you get the idea of what they're doing here same thing as a halloween theme if you can create something you can, there's a potential of you creating a bestseller in this niche if you really think about it eyeballs all over a t-shirt i look at it. it's a consistent seller for, for halloween it's selling pretty much every single year and this is something that you look for um so there's an idea like that but i'm trying to think of like what else could you do in here what else? So the next niche is going to be gnomes. This is freaking a popular niche with a lot of demand. Really, I'm opening up a few tabs of this because I'm going down to the bottom. Look, at you can see how much demand this niche is. We're going down. We're barely hitting. Like, look, at there's a dud. There's a, there's a lot of demand for this niche. When there's a demand like this, guys, okay, just to give you guys a heads up, when there's a demand like this, it's your job as a t-shirt designer or a product designer to figure out, okay, everyone's doing this. But as I research this more, there's not this. There's not this. And looking at keywords, a cat gnome. Um, looking at keywords stuff too and going down even more you can see what they're typing in looking at certain keywords and see what else you can do okay there's a lot of competition yes there is there's a lot of sales that need to be made and there's, a, there's a lot of room for any seller in this niche so this is my hollow thanks miss and now this saying guys hollow thanks miss right it's it's halloween thanksgiving and christmas they kind of they got three different niches in one three different holidays in one tournament and put the gnomes in there and it's a top selling design and it's a, this saying is trending like crazy i'll probably make a completely different video on this um so be on the lookout for that and this is amazing this is a good it's a cool design cool looking design right same ideas with the gnomes right and they just did a little few not as much detailed as you can see as this one but same concept and you remember guys every customer is not going to be the same every customer can be different when it comes to this type of stuff this is this is something that's just it's, it's interesting to see this right here okay the next niche is going to be hippo you're seeing what they did here with the hippo face obviously using the halloween keyword bsr is doing pretty good and here's a silhouette with the hippo in the back happy halloween and you can see as they're going down and just picking up some evergreen style design and i could just see this this niche just doing really good and it doesn't even have to be if well, i'm showing you this for halloween it doesn't have to be for halloween you can just think of different ideas and just because of that reason me saying that let me pull up an evergreen design to show you with you guys and this one's evergreen design too by the way and i just know that by looking at it because it just you know the colors that they use that with the face right it's, it looks like it's a hippo the colors and stuff like that and had the face on it but look at it's a consistent seller and he throws a keyword halloween in there and that's going to rank even more you can see it's been up from 2019 and it's just making sales making a lot of sales halloween silhouette you can see what they did here with the hippo in the background and the sh you know the sh you know the spider bat Let's see what's going on it's not the bsr is not popping up 900 and 97k bsr official sleep shirt this is a cool cute pillows and you can see something like that doing good um look at that pranking and just think of other stuff things that you can do too and you can see some official napping shirt napping sleeping really awesome design the next niche is going to be mermaid bra top idea those two right there and let's go down a little bit more you got this is a cool one obviously like i already said it already it's like a bra a bikini top idea if you look at it it's just crushing just making sales pretty much every single month almost like every single day and then coming into halloween and we got a skeleton mermaid mermaid skeleton this is dope i think there can be a little bit more done with this 
but it's doing enough tell. Just by looking, you can just tell. Look at the BSR cranking in, making a lot of sales, getting closer to Halloween. It's going to do a lot more. There's some more that are being obviously promoted. I won't click on it. I won't click on it, but I'll just go through it. You can see. I like this one right here. Full skeleton, dead sugar skull, Mexican day glittery mermaid t-shirt. This is my human costume. I am a mermaid, right? We kind of, we went over a few of these in this video, going over that one. This one's a cool one. Uh, Halloween mermaid. You can see what they did here with the, you know, looking at the mermaid. Then you got the witch hat on sitting on a pumpkin. Really awesome design. All right. So the next niche is going to be Halloween and panda. You can see that it's starting to trend down something like this. This one's really cool. There's a red panda that seems to be doing pretty well in this niche so maybe you can put red panda and halloween theme instead of just a regular you know black and white panda right um now let's go to the next one this one is a little bit more detailed as you can see a really cool one a little jack-o-lantern and this is very creative too um the witch hat right really awesome and i love to see stuff like this as you uh you look at uh certain designs and illustrations you can tell the difference between this one and this one. Someone may like this design better than this design. And that's just the way it is. Um, $19.99 and it's, you can see, but let's look at this BSR. This year it's doing its best ever. So that's about, it was uploaded two years ago. So something to think about is a long term. If you get a design up, let's say right now, and it may take a little bit to start to rank in the algorithm. It's trying to make money, right? Amazon's goal is it for it to make money and serve the customer. And then as the algorithm starts to find the customer for your product, and then it'll start making more. And more and more and more sales. The next niche is going to be uh, shark. This niche does pretty freaking well. Really awesome design. Pretty cool. Look at that ranking sales. And then this year it started selling in the end of May. I'm pretty sure that the rest of this month is going to do pretty good. This one really, really cool. You can see the detail done in this uh, type of design. So if you have an awesome design or you have an artist on your team, you can create a design like this and it's going to make sales. Someone's buying this for their, their son or for their grandson or, or whoever it is, but you can see like the detail work right there. All right. This is my human costume and really a shark not showing the sales chart but 602 this was uploaded towards the end of last month someone may have just purchased this or someone may have bought it themselves to get it ranking in the algorithm either way they got it ranking on amazon and i'm curious to see how this does compared from like you know this year to next year and see what it does but i can see this shirt it's a good shirt it's a good design it's something like this obviously there's a lot of demand for this type of saying right you got to figure out how you can be different from everyone else also to just a friendly reminder make sure that you're always checking for trademarks and copyrights okay just because i'm sharing it with you in this video you still have to do your homework on your end thank you very much for watching this video watch this video next right up here if you want more niche ideas